So now we make it to the end of the video. And should you go and buy an iPhone 11 Pro Max? Should you keep your 11 Pro Max? Should you go and upgrade to the 13 Pro? And this is pretty much what I'll tell you. I think both these iPhones are great. I don't really think I would go from an iPhone 11 Pro Max though to a 13 Pro. I think this phone is still very good. I think it has a lot of capability. Some areas where it doesn't, you know, maybe compete well with the iPhone 13 Pro is possibly in the performance. It seemed a little bit slower and maybe in the camera. But other than that, from my test, I've done a lot of tests even behind the scenes, even with battery life, and there were a lot of similarities. Yes, the 13 Pro has better battery life. It's faster, it's smoother, it has, you know, ProMotion, all that stuff. We'll get into that in a second. But the 11 Pro Max, for the price that you can pick it up for, like, less than 600 it's still a very good price phone, in my opinion, at least in the used market. Now, with the 13 Pro, this is a very good phone. This is just the best phone you can pick up. For $1,000, you can't really go wrong. If you have all the money in the world, please pick up this phone. But it's not perfect either, but some areas where it excels at and it's better than the iPhone 11 Pro Max, the battery life is better on the iPhone 13 Pro, the performance is better on the iPhone 13 Pro, the display is better, you have that ProMotion display, which looks really nice, I mean, you can't tell it like this, but when you're swiping through and you're going through certain things and you're opening up apps, it's a very smooth display, which I really like. But other than that, they're pretty much the same phone. Like if you aren't complaining about the battery life on the 11 Pro Max, then I wouldn't go to the 13 Pro. Like they're very similar. And if you're not comparing them side by side, you probably wouldn't tell too many differences. So and that pretty much covers up this little comparison, to be honest. You know, if you have an 11 Pro Max, keep it. But if you want, I guess, maybe better performance and longer longevity iOS support and stuff, then go for this one. But I would probably skip it, to be honest. But that pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.